okay, I'm going back old-fashioned um, pre-recording because I tried to go live in my Facebook group, The Woman at the Well. Um, the Woman at the Well, a Christian group for the non-religious, because um, that seemed appropriate, but I can't find the go-live. And I haven't worked out how to do YouTube lives up here yet. But I just thought, like, this is October the something. And I'm dressed too warm. Like, I've got winter clothes on and it's just ridiculous. <laughs> I've got damage to all my joints from ciprofloxacin. But the last time I saw the consultant, he said to me, please keep exercising. Like, I can see the cows, right? I love those cows. Can you see the cows? I can't. Uh, I could do Zoom, but never mind. But I felt bad for the cows the other day because when they heard me up here, they obviously thought I was coming to feed them, so they all ran up the field mooing, and, and I wasn't coming to feed them. <laughs> so no, I just let them be. I think... Anyway, look. But um, it's blaring, blaring, gorgeous... Indian summer, October, sunshine. And um, I came up and I, and I was thinking, right, I'll do my Bible study. I didn't feel very well this morning, but... Hello, Ruby. <laughs> Should we say hello to Ruby? <laughs> I always say I'm Anglo-Irish, which I am. But the Anglo part of me desperately wants to cut the grass. <laughs> I desperately want to cultivate a little area and put flowers and things like that, you know. But you cannot design, like, no matter how much topiary or gardening I did, which I'm a bit old for now, but nobody could design that. Right. So I, anyway, I came up and I thought, right, I'll do my little Bible study, Mark chapter 10. But my neglected King James Bible, large text version, beautiful. I had some things in it and um, some papers like bookmarks and stuff. And one of them is a poem called Desiderata. And although it's a bit new age and it's not scripture but it's still I remember it like my dad is one of 16 and five mysteriously died in childhood and my mother was allegedly one of five so we had lots of aunties so my mother very cleverly like gave us ways to remember them so so this particular auntie on my dad's side she called Auntie Mary the nun <laughs> And that's who I was named after. Like, her nun name was Sister Angela Marie. And I was named after her. And mostly, in our childhood, she would give us rosary beads <laughs> and um, books about saints. But a couple of times she turned up with a different gift. And I did love her. I mean, I did, although she was quite wicked, I have to say, with cover-ups of... Um, Abuse in the family and in the Catholic Church. She was quite wicked, but I did love her. Um, and one time she gave me a framed uh, version of this poem, Desiderata. So instead of a Bible study today, I'm going to read it. Because it comforted me. And, and that's partly what the this represents me up here is... Pure silence, pure... So I'll read it now. Go placidly amid the noise and the haste and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others, even... To the dull and the ignorant, they too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexatious to the spirit. 
If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It's a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. Ain't that the truth? But let this not blind you to what vi virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself. Especially do not feign affection. Neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Look at the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Amen. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune. Uh -huh. But do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. And this, this is the part that rang in my spirit as a teenager when Auntie Mary the Nun gave this to me. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether it or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God. And I, I don't agree with the next bit. Whatever you conceive him to be. No, <laughs> it's Abba, Father God, it's Jesus, his son, and it's the Holy Spirit indwelling us until Jesus comes back again, which looks like it's going to be very soon. And whatever your labours and aspirations, in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace in your soul. With all its sham drudgery and broken dreams, it's still a beautiful world. Be cheerful. Strive to be happy. All right, guys, that's my love gift to myself and to you for the day.